In part one of these videos on SAP, I showed how you configure the SAP adapter for retrieving logs from the cloud where your SAP instance resides. SAP has a module called ETD, Enterprise Threat Detection, which is mission in life among all the things is to detect, you know, transactions and actions that should not be happening on an SAP system. And we're going to be actually logging using the, the SAP GUI. We're going to be logging into SAP and we're going to be executing some of those uh, transactions. So let's actually get uh, started. First, we want, we want to get in Curator, which is right here on the log activity. I have a filter for only getting the SAP logs. We want to get notification when people log in, kind of log in successful, uh, you may call it. So let get, let's get started by logging. And the user I'm going to use is, the client is going to be 000. The user is going to be dictionary user. And the password is uh, and I have login into the system. As a consequence of doing this, I want to see a message. I should see a message in Curator indicating a successful login. I actually log in twice when I was testing this and we can see that in any one of those logs, there's actually plenty of details in here that you may want to use. If you are interested in any particular field, you can actually extract that property. And if you want to, for example, fire an offense when this particular event happens, it's as simple as click here, that's the QID, and you just build a rule that when this QID happens, you get um, this uh, that particular offense firing. Let's do some more actions in uh, the SAP client. First, I'm going to log off from here, and I'm going to log in as another user, etd admin. Yeah, that's the one, and the password. Now, the first transaction, and this is the way that SAP uh, works, that I'm going to be doing is actually doing some transactions that are blacklisted. I mean, transactions that people should not be doing. The first one is NSE 37. So, so this is a... Uh, particular transactions, uh, I, I don't even need to go further. I mean, the fact that I went and execute that uh, transaction uh, is actually going to uh, trigger a subsequent log into Curator. And there might be a little delay because remember, these are in the cloud and, and Curator polls, as you saw me doing when I configured the adapter, goes and retrieves the, the logs. Uh, I don't recall it was uh, every minute or every five minutes or so. Uh, so let's wait a little bit until the actual message uh, uh, hits Curator. And here we have it. Notice how Curator, you know, assigned the right category, the potential miscellaneous exploit. And as before, we can go into the element and fire offenses with it, extracts the properties, whatever is it that we want to do with that. Let's do some more transactions in uh, SAP. Let's actually do blacklisted reports. And that, I believe it is uh, NSA 38. Oh, actually, it's a German keyboard. Well, let me figure what this is all about. I typed that wrong. And um, once I execute that NSA 38, 
and again I can create the, the report but just the fact that I enter here should get me a message in curator let's actually wait a minute or two and go back to the log activity tab in curator actually that came out also as a blacklisted transaction also creating a blacklisted report gets flagged as another blacklisted transaction let's do one more let's extract some information from SAP and save it into a local file into the desktop we are back at the SAP GUI and the transaction we're going to be doing now is actually keep forgetting this has to be a German keyboard so NSA uh, that was uh, 16 and the table name is user we should have it here yeah user 02 we click this icon in here and that icon there and here is the actual uh, data now we can go ahead and save it if we go uh, list save as local file on converted it's fine and I'm going to put it here as uh, data.txt we generate it and we have it now on the desktop. Let's see if Curator picks this one up. Actually that was pretty quick from 2.13 to 2.12 is on one minute and we have another of those uh, messages. And just as a point of interest even though the messages look the same notice that the alert ID in this one this is the first transaction 43222 let's go back to the list and look at the next one and the alert ID is 43224 and the very last one is 43225 those seems to be kind of sequential uh, but again, the pattern ID is different. I, I'm 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 no expertise on SAP whatsoever. But uh, from this, you can relate the type of incident that was actually happened, and you may want to extract that particular uh, property. If should you be interested in firing different offenses based on the different types of action, let's do one more, which is. Uh, use the debugging capabilities of SAP to try to alter a program in flight to change some parameters and make some money so now the transaction we're going to be running is NSC oh, yeah. NSE uh, 38 and we display the actual code for this transaction oh I need to put the table actually it's uh, Z yeah this one right one I went over there and now I can display the code and I can put a breakpoint in here and actually execute the program up to the point of the breakpoint and then play with the variables and then replace you know uh, a particular variable the recipient and put somebody else the, the banking account and so I can play with those uh, with those variables and make the money go to whatever I want but just the fact that I went this far is going to give us another message in curator actually when I was doing this test before I was even able to get that specific debugging in system assigned to critical resources uh, type of messages